pro wrestling is crazy. Antonio Inaki, the professional wrestler, versus Muhammad Ali, the professional boxer. Before I set up the match, let me paint a picture of Antonio Inaki with highlights from his colorful career. Over his career, Antonio Inaki has held diplomatic talks with Saddam Hussein. He attempted to bring peace between North Korea and Japan through an exhibition match with Ric Flair in front of nearly 200,000 fans in Pyongyang. Inaki was elected to the Japanese House of Councils in the early 90s. His political party, the Sports and Peace Party. While serving his term as a government official, Anaki continued his pro wrestling career. Hey Anaki, how can you and the government alleviate the pain felt by the Japanese asset bubble collapse? Sorry, I'm too busy to represent the people right now. I have a fake wrestling match to get to. Don't even bother asking Anaki about sarin gas. Unfortunately, Anaki's political career was short due to alleged involvement with the Yakuza, go figure, and North Korea is in worse shape today. Now, that's probably because Anaki booked a match with the WCW, a headlining match against the WWS Lex Luger, and maybe Guam wouldn't be digging fallout shelters as we speak. I sincerely hope that Dennis Rodman and the Harlem Grove Globetrotters are taking notes. Anaki has had some strange matches, and I encourage you to YouTube them. See Antonio Anaki vs. The Great Antonio. There can be only one. Antonio Anaki's most famous match was against Muhammad Ali. Following Ali's Thrilla in Manila victory over Joe Frazier, Ali's camp was looking for another big time bout. In the meantime, they scheduled what was supposed to be a fake pro wrestling match with Antonio Inaki. The only problem? Inaki decided it would be real. At the last minute, Ali's camp negotiated new terms to the match when they realized Inaki was playing for keeps. The major rule change? To kick, Anaki had to have one knee down in the process. The result? Anaki laid in the center of the ring on his back like a turtle and kicked Ali's legs for 15 rounds. Ali only landed six punches during the entire match. It's bizarre to watch. In one corner, Ali is wondering what the hell he's gotten himself into. In the other corner, Anaki in true pro wrestler in true pro wrestling fashion, has a deranged smile stretched across his face like he just blew up Gotham City. In the end, the match was a draw and Ali suffered blood clots in his legs from being kicked so many times. His legs would never be the same and would significantly impair his future matches. Perhaps the most bizarre turn of events is that these two men became friends afterwards. Just this past year, Antonio Inaki converted to Islam. He was encouraged to take the name Muhammad Ali. He refused, stating that he had already fought the greatest. I am at Race for the Prize, or maybe you know me as Mr. Jackson from the History Podcast.blogspot.com. Thanks for joining me for the first in our series of Wrestling is Crazy.